Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob in the Cottonwood Bark Wood Spirit Part 2. And this is it. We only got two parts. Part 2. Alright, so uh, we've got the Sabertooth Elongated Flame Burr in there. And we are cutting in the mustache right now. Yep. We're cutting them in. Getting the uh, mustache to stick out from the face. Elongated burr works really well for this. So we're just going to noodle around with this for a minute. Piddle, piddle, piddle. Get this all cut back and down and in and all that good stuff. At least it's not raining today. All right. So uh, we've got the cuts all extreme burr, taper burr there. And the Dremel 4000 with the flex shaft. And we're going to be switching back and forth between tools and burrs here. Um, and, uh, we'll even have a little knife work with the, uh, two and a half inch OCC knife. Once we get down into the mouth area. So, uh, I think it's important to note that as you're cutting your mustache in and the mouth should be rounded. Try to keep it, uh, round, not flat. So you get that, like that barrel of the mouth rounded in because your face is not flat right so you want to try rounding that in and uh as we get into the mouth you'll see that we we're going to keep pushing those uh there's his teeth we're cutting in uh using the knife you're going to see that we're going to push them back down and around we're going to round those teeth in I see a lot of people that carve teeth, they just kind of leave them straight across there, which is okay. That's your style. Um, I like to push them back. Now we have the micro carver with the 332nd metal cutting flame burr, carbide flame burr. Um, I, I usually order these off Amazon or Mountain Wood Carvers. Or eBay. You can get them in those places. You see how we're pushing the corners of... We're pushing the teeth back. We're making them rounded. And those are the bottom teeth. We kind of got his lip dropped. See how we got that lip angled down? Or the, the, the teeth are behind it. And we'll end up pushing them bottom teeth way back. There'll even be a tongue in there, but I don't know if you'll see it because um, I can't get in there with a paintbrush to paint it red. So we're just going to leave it the color of the cottonwood bark. We'll end up staining this guy with uh, the... What is it? Uh, moss oak, it's called. M-O-S-S -S oak. It's a darker shade of oak. There's like, uh, I don't know, eight or nine different shades of stain you can get. Yep, we're staining this guy. Um, I think as dark as this wood goes, just clear coat would have been fine too. But um, I know for a fact this guy will be hanging outside. So we're going, going with the uh, putting the stain on it to protect him. See, we're taking the knife. <clears throat> I can get the knife. Got a frog in my throat. I can get the teeth flatter with the knife than I can the uh, Dremel or the micro carver because of the you know the mustache sticking out there. So uh, I'm using the knife to get back in there and cut the teeth, push them back. See, I'm pushing the teeth back in the corner of the mouth, and same way with the lower lip. Pushing that back. And the upper lip. 
Uh, you can't see because it's under the beard, but you can see we kept that beard rounded. And we're getting in there. Same thing with that carbide flame berth. Uh, it's a 332nd shaft in the micro carver. Getting down in there and cut. I'm, I'm going almost as deep as the, uh, the micro carver will allow. And now we're back to the Dremel 4000 and we have a... Uh, spear, sphere, sphere, bobber. There you go, bobber in there to uh, give the lower part of the lip that you know that uh, roundness where your lip rolls into your chin. And now we're going back with uh, the other Dremel 4000 with the cuts all taper fiber, cuts all taper fiber. And we're getting that that bottom lip pushed in there. I do take, uh, you see the bottom part of the beard there? I do take that back with the knife. Uh, just because it's a lot quicker than using the power tools. I can take off big slabs with the knife. And now we've got the uh, micro carver. But we have the, we still have the flame burr in there. We separated the teeth. Delineated the teeth from each other. And we're working a little bit more on the eyes. You know, just going back and finalizing stuff. <clears throat> Getting where the beard is going to be cut in there. Man, voice is a little raspy this morning. You can see we're... Um, I guess you'd be calling it framing the face. Same burr. Um... Starting to cut the hairs in. Okay. So I'm just pulling hairs. All the way down the face. I'll get up underneath the cheeks there. And we'll just keep pulling it down. Um, no certain pattern. Just kind of uh, sweeping them in there. You know. Whoosh. Like Jordy says. We're just whooshing them in there. Whoosh. Whoosh. And we will use this to uh, set the beard hairs. This little carbide flame burr. This is a new carbide flame burr. It's cutting very well in this cottonwood bark. And now we're going to the gouge or round gouge. And what I'm doing is I'm making swoop cuts in there to uh, give the hair the texture. So it's not all one plane, you know. I mean, you could do this with a Dremel, or I could have done it with that ball, the ball bit. Um, it's just that I can make these these little swoops a little more erratic without the uh, I can end them without the uh, the roundness of a ball. So you can see I'm making like choppy swoop cuts. Um, I really think that adds to the texture of the hair. It kind of uh. It makes it uneven, is what I'm after here. And we'll do that all over this beard. And then we will switch over to what's called a blade cutter. And uh, it's designed for hair. And you can get those at Mountain Wood Carvers. No, we're not sponsored by Mountain Wood Carvers, but you can get them from Mountain Wood Carvers. Um, it's called the Knife Blade. Okay, so now we've got the uh, the cuts all fine, taper burr, in that Dremel 4000. And we're just uh, going in there, and it, what it's doing is breaking up that pattern. So it don't hurt to use different size cutters to create different thicknesses of lines. Okay. And of course, I'll come back in with the um, gouge. And do a little more of that swooping in there. Getting them little. So the hair get, has a wave to it. That's what it is. Puts the wave in the hair with the gouge. So you just go a little bit deep. And then lift it up. Pop it up. And by using the different cutters. It gives it different textures. With the. On the, on the beard hairs. 
So that's that's why we're doing that. Okay, now we're putting the uh, this is that cutter. Nope, that was the wrong one. That this is that cutter burr knife burr. It's called. It comes right. It looks like a saw blade, but it comes right to a very sharp edge. And you can see as we're moving through there, we're splitting hairs. <laughs> yep, splitting hairs with it. But you can see the extra depth and uh, texturing that it gives the beard and the hairs. Um, and same thing, you can uh, press a little bit harder and get it deeper and lighter to make it more shallow. It, it just gives you that extra layer of texture, I think, in my opinion. I've got two sizes. I've got this. This is the biggest one that I've got. And then I've got one that's about... Um, it's about half of that size and that's good for getting up close to like the, where your lip is or, uh, eyebrow hairs, that kind of stuff works good for that. And I'm showing you that I'm going to go back with the gouge and gouge it. So now we're in there with the wood burner. I had the camera on, but I didn't. I pushed the record button, but the way my camera set up, you got to hit the record button twice. So I missed out a lot on the wood burning here. But uh, you can get to see, you get the idea. We're going through there and uh, darkening everything up. Uh, the wood burner, I'm not going to brush this. Okay. Because I'm the stain I'm using is kind of dark. So I'm not going to brush it. I want to leave that char in there so it stands out through the uh, stain. And I went and I would burn it in between the teeth and all that good stuff too. So this is what he's looking like, guys. Um, so we're almost done. So uh, remember, if you want to save 5% on your cuts all burrs, use the code CARVROB in all caps when you go to the cuts all website. And I will put a link in the description below for the cuts all website. Um, there will also be a link there if you want to buy me a cup of coffee. You see, I messed up on the nose there. I was using too big of a burr and the side of the nose chipped out a little bit, but you can't see it by looking at it head on, so it'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and sign it. So if you would like to help uh, support the channel so we can buy some more burrs and stuff, uh, there will be a link below to my PayPal. And I appreciate the support. Um, you guys that have donated to the coffee fund, thank you very much. I appreciate it like you wouldn't believe. Okay, so we signed it. We dated it. I put my RV on there. Then I put the 2021. Then I put Just Carve Rob on there. Um, we're going to give you a couple uh, shots of the... There, we're carving a spot for the nail so you can hang it. Uh, of the finished wood spirit. Okay, so share, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Be awesome, carve something awesome, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.